Business Matters, presented by the Guamanian Magazine. The first McDonald's restaurant in Guam opened in Tamuning 45 years ago, and the McDonald's Corporation, through its Hawaii office, held on to ownership up until about three months ago. That's when Joe Ajuzu says, out of the blue, he got the surprise of his life. I got a call from the company, uh, you know, saying that they're interested in selling the stores and whether I'll be interested in buying them. And of course, I say yes. And, uh, you know, uh, as a matter of fact, I wasn't even thinking of the price. I said, I said yeah. <laughs> he and his wife, Marcia, have owned the Saipan franchise for the past 24 years, but had long had their eyes on the Guam stores. Azuzu says the sale comes at a time when McDonald's is refocused on growing the franchise business. And he says it makes sense to partner with local entrepreneurs because that's where a lot of the company's innovation comes from. They feel that the local franchise, uh, franchises, they're more closer to the community, so they know the needs of the community. And so, uh, you know, it's a win-win situation uh, for them. Uh, they have somebody that they can depend uh, on and knows the, you know, the marketplace. But while McDonald's allows for a certain amount of local innovation, Ajuju says the franchisees still stick to the basic corporate philosophy and products that have made McDonald's so successful. That's the beautiful thing about McDonald's is that the, the consistency of everything that we do from making, uh, you know, a sandwich to, uh, uh, you know, the way we train our employees. Uh, there's a lot of consistency and uh, that's what I get a lot out of as a, as a franchisee versus me developing my own system. I have McDonald's Corporation as a, a resource for me in, in coming up with the training uh, needed for the store, new products and even sourcing of uh, materials. Azuzu quadrupled the number of stores he owns when he took over the six Guam restaurants on May 1st. He says it was a big jump, but so far so good, as the stores, he says, remain profitable. With one of the most successful franchise restaurant chains ever, why you just open the doors and the profits roll in, right? When they made the decision to buy the restaurant, uh, one of the things that came into my mind, my mind is uh, we have a lot of employees, but, you know, uh, these employees, some, many of them have been with the company for many, many, many years. So, you know, I just make a personal commitment. Nobody's going to lose their job. Uh, the only criteria for you keeping your job is to continue to do what you're doing and do the best you can. Azuzu knows all about hard work. He made it through college in Hawaii through financial assistance, scholarships, and working different jobs like as a janitor. He said he was inspired by his father, but not in the usual way. He is very open about not wanting to follow the path that his father did. You know, I would always ask myself, how come he's always drunk? Then one day, you know, I had a confession from him, uh, you know, he says, I said, Dad, why, why are you always drunk? He says, you know, Joe, um, you, you know, in our family, I have 12 kids. I'm earning very little money as a mechanic, and I cannot, I cannot, I cannot provide the kind of financial, you no know, earnings to the family, to support the family. Now, as a cop out for me, I try to drink and forget about my problem. Isn't that interesting, yeah. right? Yeah. And believe it or not, but a lot of people out there are like that. Azuzu considers himself lucky not to be one of them, and he credits his dad's advice for that too. You know, Joe, uh, I cannot send you to college because we're poor. Uh, you're going to have to find a way to get there. So I find a way to get there myself, work hard, uh, do a part-time job, get scholarships. And, uh, and you, know, uh, his, you know, one of the things I, I will never forget about him is uh, he says, if you have a good education, nobody can steal that away from you. For KOM's Business Matters, I'm Nestor Leconto. Business Matters, presented by The Guamanian Magazine.